Hey guys, welcome to Brew Espresso Coffee. Today's topic is how to make cold brew with a French press. Cold brew coffee is becoming increasingly popular. It's easy to make and it has this smooth, mellow flavor. You can find cold press in so many places. However, today I'm gonna show you how to make it at home so you don't have to depend on others to make it for you. The French press method is one of the cheapest and easiest ways to make cold brew at home. All you need for it is ground coffee, a French press, and water. Before I show you how to make cold brew at home using a French press, let me tell you a little bit more about cold brew. What is cold brew coffee? In simple words, cold brew is a way to make coffee using cold water. I love cold brew because it has this smooth, mellow flavor, smoother than any other coffee. It is less bitter than hot brewed coffee and also it's less acidic. But I would say the greatest advantage that cold brew has over the hot brew is the fact that it lacks some of the compounds that get extracted in hot brew coffee because the lower temperatures don't extract those compounds. So it's better for your stomach. It doesn't irritate your stomach, so it's the preferred beverage for those who have more sensitive stomachs. How to make cold brew with a French press. If you follow our recipe, you'll see that it's super easy to make. All you need is a French press, freshly ground coffee, and cold water. Keep watching this video to see me make a cold brew with a French press. Now let's start the step-by-step -step recipe. Step 1. Grind your coffee. Grind about 120 grams of coffee to a medium coarse grind size. If you want to use pre-ground coffee from the store, use it, but you'll probably need to filter it through a paper filter later on. Step 2. Weigh your coffee. Measure 120 grams of coffee by weight, or 24 level tablespoons by volume. We recommend you use a scale, as coffee volume can vary consistently depending on roast and origin. Step 3. Transfer your grounds. Place the coffee grounds into a 34 ounce French press or larger. If you have a smaller French press, you will need to adjust the recipe. Step 4. Add water and mix. Add 720 milliliters of filtered water in the French press and mix the slurry to wet all of the coffee grounds. Step 5. The final setup. Place the plunger in the beaker and push it in just a little, in order to ensure all the grounds are immersed in the slurry. Step 6. Steep for 12 hours. Transfer the French press in the fridge and let it steep for 12 hours. There is an entire discussion around cold brew extraction time and water temperature, but let's keep it simple. 12 hours steeping in the fridge. Step 7. Plunge and strain. Take the brew out of the fridge and push the plunger in all the way down to separate the spent grounds from the coffee. Pour the coffee concentrate into a glass bottle or a glass jar.
Now that you've seen me make cold brew with a French press, here are a few more tips to make a perfect cold brew. Dilution ratios. Do not drink the concentrate as it is, even if you find it tasty. Cold brew concentrate tastes great, but it has double the amount of caffeine than a normal coffee serving. Add water or milk to the concentrate to bring it to a normal strength. If you don't like the home brewed result, try diluting it a little bit more. The brew ratio of coffee to water should be 1 to 6. The dilution ratio should be approximately 1 to 1. Add less water if you like to also add milk to your concentrate. If you want your coffee to be ready to drink, if you don't want to bother diluting it, then just use a 1 to 9 ratio of coffee to water. Filter your French press cold brew. If you find your coffee is too grainy, just filter it with a paper coffee filter or a permanent mesh coffee filter. If you own a very fine mesh strainer, that's fine too. If you use pre-ground coffee that you bought for your drip coffee maker, then make sure you use a paper filter. Pre-ground coffee is a little too fine for cold brew, but it still works. What is the best grind size for French press cold brew? I recommend a medium coarse grind size. This is somewhere between drip coffee grind size, which is a medium, and coarse. If you grind too finely, your coffee will be a little bit muddy. On the other hand, in my experiments, coarse grinds don't extract very well. Steeping time. I recommend you steep between 9 and 16 hours. I experimented with different grind sizes and different steeping times, and the most flavorful coffee turned out to be the coffee that I brewed for less hours. Water temperature. We recommend using the refrigerated method because it reduces the risk of contamination, but room temperature water can work as well if your fridge is too small. Really good. The French press method is the easiest and cheapest way you can make cold brew at home. I personally prefer to use a mason jar and a coffee filter. The French press method is super easy and it's equally convenient. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. That's it for today on the topic of making cold brew with a French press. I hope that it was easy for you to follow along and that you're gonna try out my recipe. If you do, please comment below and let me know how it went. And if you're a huge coffee lover, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any coffee video suggestions, please comment below and we'll be taking your feedback. See you guys next time. Bye!